Good morning, friends. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome again back to our channel. This uh, second video continues from the first, and we are still touring Beverly Hills, but with a particular focus on celebrity homes and celebrity neighborhoods in uh, Beverly Hills. You'll see some amazing, amazing homes, amazing, amazing neighborhoods. Uh, many of the houses look ordinary. Some of them are extraordinary, and they cost quite a bit. So come along and uh, watch with us. Thank you. Bruce Ellis County grew so fast because of the movies, city planning was not a luxury we have. Uh, considering we've got the city of LA all over, plus these 87 towns popping up and going away and popping up, it's amazing that it's as well organized as it is. Now coming up on the right side, you can buy this house and mansion on the corner, you can rent it. You decide what you want to do. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the chandelier hanging from the ceiling to the main glass window. And sometimes there's too much glare to see the chandelier. The chandelier is worth multi-millions all by its lonesome. You want to buy the house? They're asking $74 million. You want to rent the house? They're asking $150,000 a month to rent if you go that way with it. Oh, 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 Now that, that 150 k a month to rent, they're not gonna, they're not gonna negotiate much with you on that. You're either in or you're out. They might negotiate a slight amount. But they're not that crazy about you living there anyway. They like the money short. But that 74 million? Oh, that's a moving target. My amateur real estate observer status, I think they might go as low as 40 million. And for houses that could potentially sell for 50 million or more, and we've got no small number of houses in LA County that have sold for 50 million or more, that's what we consider our highest category. There's a Bentley convertible here on the left that looks black. That could fall in that category. I don't, it might sell for 50. But if a house can sell for 50 or more, they notoriously have ridiculously inflated list prices. 74 million, they know it's got no shot at that. But they know that. Here's the Beverly Hills Hotel. It's my favorite hotel in the world, for goodness sakes. No hotel on earth would I more associate with movies, movie stars, movie history, than the glorious and sumptuous Beverly Hills Hotel. And for the whole week preceding the Oscars, it was very busy. It's always busy, but at Oscar weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, oh, good God. Now, limousine, this is a limo for sure, because on the back bumper, there's white letters that say TCP with a number. That's a Transportation Commission thing. And they'll, be, they'll have it on the front bumper, too. It tells me that's a full-time limousine. Almost all the limousines in our 21st century are black SUVs with blacked out dark and rear windows. Now at the Beverly Hills Hotel, this is the hive, and these are the bees. They're constantly going in and out. And boy, was that true this past week. Now I'm, I'm nuts about this hotel. It's my favorite hotel in the world. This is the world's movie.
Um, maybe he swims. I doubt he plays tennis, but maybe he swims. But And he's such a nice guy. Now, this is a really smart one. Because somebody bought a large estate that had one house on it, an old mansion, and leveled the mansion, gone, but divided the large property into two properties. And the value of it as one property is not even going to approach the value of it when you're selling it to two different people. Oh, that was a very smart thing to do. And I'm certainly going to be watching to see who buys these. because I'm obsessed. But we now now we have a 1508 and a 1510. They dug a hole here, plus the big mound of, of, of muddy sand that they locked down to keep it from sliding during our recent rainstorm. Uh, so there's a hole here. Are they gonna build a basement? That's not really a thing in LA, but maybe they will. There's no reason they can't. Um, they're making really fast progress on house number two. I wish that I wish that was my investment. Somebody, well, go around me, jackass. You see, he could have just gone around me and not honked at me. The tours are not very popular among the populace. I think I'd have something to complain about. I mean, if I'm in my own car, I'd have something to complain about too. All right, what do we got for? Do we recognize any of these good-looking people? Nicely dressed. Um, coming up on our right side, this white house with two black gates right near this... Is it a Jeep? I don't know. This is the Beverly home of one of the greatest athletes of our 21st century. His main home is Las Vegas, Nevada, one of the greatest boxers ever to put on gloves, Mr. Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s Beverly Hills house here in LA. Now, he bought this six years ago for $25 million. Nine months ago, he paid his 2022 property tax to the city of Beverly Hills. I mean, look at these streets, for goodness sakes. He paid $335,000. Sometimes I go into a more lengthy story about Floyd's real estate, but I'm going to skip off that for a second. Here's why. Because when I came by here three hours ago, this highway patrol officer, this highway patrol officer, they gave a police escort with lights flashing to a VIP. Now, could be the governor. If it was the vice president, I think they would have... Uh, a bit more. Certainly if it was the president, it would be closed down and they'd have ambulance and a whole lot, lot of other stuff. It could be the governor, though. Somebody's at an event in here. And the, the patrols, they're not in there guarding the person, are they? They're sitting in the vehicle. So they're just providing an escort. So you're kind of seeing VIP level there. Uh, it could be uh, uh, some major American government figure, could be our governor, it could be uh, someone from another country, uh, a government figure from another country. I'm just, I'm interested in this, you see. Who's there? I want to know. And I saw the, the police escort arrive, really, the lights flashing. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think the governor is about as high as it would go. That, that's not enough for the vice president. It's certainly not enough for the president. Certainly not that. But uh, and it could be... Uh, it could be uh, prime minister, maybe. Although I think... Uh, and the person came in an SUV. I'm sure there's some kind of security detail inside, but I don't get the impression it's very big. Anyway, I don't mean to go on and on about it. Let's instead see if my favorite celebrity's around and showing him or himself. And then we're going to see some of the downtown luxury shopping area. The, the sun is actually going down, so it's no longer shining in our eyes. We may get some beautiful light in the sky. 
Now, you might recognize this part of Beverly Drive, my new friends, because this often appears in movies and television shows. If a director wants to have uh, uh, a moving vehicle in a, uh, going down an L.A. street that is called Palms on both sides, this is the go-to for filming purposes. So you probably see this in a movie or TV show. Including a TV show from my childhood called The Beverly Hillbilly. The opening credit sequence of every episode, you see Jethro Bodine driving the other direction, driving the classic family, their jalopy truck, right around that curve over the, down there where those vehicles are. Now coming up on our left, the, the lights have lit up on the man's uh, sidewalk lights. The GMC SUV in front is owned, it's his, I don't know if he leases it or owns it outright, but his staff drives it around. Uh, I can see that the man's white Range Rover that he drives, I can see it through the first green gate with the mesh under the white archway. So the man's vehicle's here. I saw him a, uh, uh, a week ago yesterday, Thursday, so it, Yes, a week ago yesterday, a white ring, I was talking just like this, a white ranger over came up the street, I didn't think much of it until the turn signal turned on, and the gate started to open, and then we started screaming our heads off, waving. He returned our wave, as he always does, because he's, he's very, very gracious. My friends, he's a legend. His name is Al Pacino. The great Al Pacino lives right across the street. Uh, two months ago, I started walking, which he does by himself, and we came very close to seeing him on Sunday. As I was talking here on Sunday, uh, about, oh, I would say about between 5 and 5.30, uh, a black SUV limo came, the gate opened, and the limo was coming to pick Al up to drive him to the Derby Theater, because Al was a presenter of the Oscars. Now, there was a, a presenter, he presented the Best Picture trophy. Biggest, biggest award of the night. Now, sometimes I see limos pick Al up all the time, and it's frankly the way I see it most often. Sometimes he walks out in 30 seconds. Sometimes he walks out in 30 minutes. And, uh, but he's Al freaking Pacino, and he's the, like one person that I will hang around for a couple minutes if I see a limo with its engine running, waiting to, waiting for Al to come out. Al was worth waiting on a few minutes, for goodness sake. Uh, we waited for a couple of minutes on Sunday. Uh, we kept getting teased because the, the limo driver kept opening and closing the doors, and he was polishing the windows up, and every time we saw the door open and close, we thought Al was getting in the limo, and the limo would have come out that gate with Al in it, which it eventually did, although I didn't see it happen. And he went to the Oscars, and uh, per the producer's instructions, he did not read the nominated films, he just read the, said, Op my eyes see Oppenheimer, the winner. Anyway, you can tell I like the guy. Um, he's the one I've seen the most and do see the most. His girlfriend just turned 30, and when she was 29, nine months ago, she gave birth to a baby boy. So she and Al have a little boy, they named him Roman. Hi. What's that? Where what is? Uh if you go back up the street, there's a public park. Get that park. They named him Roman Pacino. This is Al Pacino's fourth child. He's a new daddy again at age 83. His friend Robert De Niro recently had a new baby at age 80. I won't say it's a trend, but it's a thing. A little bit of a thing. I think we should see a crime scene while we're together. When it gets darker, uh, after we see downtown, after we see some of downtown Beverly Hills, where they are drive shopping streets, we're going to make our way up to those hills, as I promised you. 
But on our way to those hills, I think we'll go to my crime scene. I like to kind of do that when I get stuck. Now what? Maybe I've answered this. Uh, if so, I'll answer it twice. But all of this stuff here is because the LA Marathon's coming to on Sunday. So they're prepping for the, the street closures. So all the vehicles away from all the runners. They're definitely coming to downtown Beverly, but they're coming down Rodeo Drive. I don't know how close the vehicles will be able to get. But we're near that is the street over to our right. And that's the one they actually run down. But I don't know. All the safety concerns, I don't know how many streets are going to be shut down. That's a Bentley SUV rolling by. Coming up now, so this is Beverly Drive. Al Pacino lives on Beverly Drive, but we're going to go down and see a couple blocks of Rodeo to stay on the shopping street. Here on our right, um, this is a new pop culture museum. It's nine months old. It's called Mr. Brainwash. It's very popular. I have not made time yet myself to go there, but that is the kind of thing I would do and will, I think, at some point. To our left, there's an Aston Martin SUV. It looks white. Downtown here, downtown Beverly, we see a lot of cars, <coughs> stars, Beautiful doggies. And if you can have a couple extra hours during your vacation, come down and walk around here. It's great fun. Walk around for a couple hours. It's a hoot. I would recommend noon to four o'clock is the, probably the best four hour window to come down for a few hours. In terms of everything involved, temperature, a lot of people, the likelihood of famous spaces. Rodeo Drive's coming right up. Here's the new Coco Chanel building, which looks best at night, because you can see the the framing of those windows. Cartier's getting a new store on the left. Here's a Ferrari black, or maybe it's black. Maybe it's green. Still on the fence. I guess black? <laughs> and now, and now we're gonna turn on the Rodeo. Although I wouldn't mind catching the light. Ah! Look at the pink. Oh, be quiet. Look at the pink Cybertruck on the left. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if that's a Tesla or not. If anybody knows much about Teslas, maybe you can answer that. Tesla. You think it is? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Of course it's a Cybertruck Tesla. I meant, I'm sorry, I was confusing the driverless taxi question. You asked if those were Teslas. I didn't know. Of course that's a Tesla, it's a Tesla Cybertruck. I was stupid for a second, forgive me. <laughs> Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, they, uh, look at the windows, they probably removed the expensive jewelry out of the windows. They tend to do that 30 minutes before sunset. I mean, smash and grab robberies are bad enough, but you would risk it after dark. Usually the expensive jewels go out of the windows 30 minutes before sunset. This yellow store on the left is the House of Bijan, proclaimed to be the world's most expensive. Yeah, the hair, that pink, pink Tesla will run right by us, and you see the band skateboard filming it. Uh, Giorgio Armani, they had a, um, a fashion show runway on Saturday, the night before the Oscars. The crowd spilled out into the streets. We've got the Beverly Hills Police itself walking up and down here. Oh, let's go right behind this tent. I feel so stupid though. It says tag us and here's their here's their Twitter or X I should with since it's Tesla, I should say X. Uh, at X you can find them at, at Pink Cybertruck. That's their that's their X address. At Pink Cybertruck. I don't know what company bid Ibiet is, you guys might know. That guy's pretty good on that. On the left, uh, this store, which is now the Christian Lobatin shoe designer. That's a blue Ferrari and a gorgeous one at that. Uh, Julia Roberts walked into this business twice in the movie. 
better not be walking up. Uh, on the left, Richard Robertson shoes door. Now, Julia Roberts walked in there twice in Pretty Woman. To your left, that door immediately to your left, across the street. Tried to shop twice. Uh, the first time she went in, she was rudely treated by the snobs working there. She left the tears there. She was so upset by that. But she comes back later, she gets a little revenge on the snobs. When she comes back, she looks amazing. Her arms are way down with shopping bags. She looks at the gals with the mean to her. She says to them, do you work on commission? She raises those bags. She's going to wags them at the, at the snobs. She says, big mistake, big mistake, huge. Stops out that door in the movie history. All right. This is Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, the driverless uh, way uh, Waymo taxis, they're all south of this street, but this week they could certainly pick up somebody right here. This is this is part of the this is part of the train.